Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another new releases video for you all. I've actually been getting requested a lot of things to the shop and what I typically do is I will go ahead and split releases between the month. So I believe for the month of October I plan on having three releases. Those being like my December budgeting kits alongside now weekly kits. This release which has two new weekly kits sampler sheets for all of the sticker kits that I have now in the shop as well as daily duo kits. Um, if you guys don't know, a couple of months ago I came out with daily duo kits and decided to take them down just because I didn't think they were going to be as functional as I would want them to be. So I wanted to go ahead and reformat them. I'm happy to tell you guys that I finally have the layout that I like and I'll show you guys kind of how it looks in a daily duo planner as well. So for today's release is going to be four different daily kits, their add-ons, sampler sheets, and two new weekly kits, which the last time I had a release, I mentioned if you guys still wanted to see fall kits or if you guys just wanted me to dip right into Christmas. And a couple of you guys suggested me coming out with at least two more fall kits, which was perfect because I think these two kits just scream fall. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I think I'm first going to show you guys the two new weekly kits and if you guys don't know or didn't watch my last new releases video then you guys wouldn't know this but I did come out with weekly kits four page weekly kits to be exact and you are of course able to pick these kits up as mini kits which come with four sheets or if you want to pick up sheets a la carte you're also able to do that and I do that just to give you guys a little bit more flexibility with how many stickers you want to use in your planner and so these were the two kits that came out first. These are just the full boxes, by the way, but this one was Leopard Everything and Gingham Thanksgiving. So these were my first two kits. And I'm going to show you guys the last two fall kits that will be coming to the shop. The first one up, I'm just getting right into it, is going to be Burgundy Fall. And Burgundy Fall actually has prints that I used for my November budget kits. Um, so this is kind of a whole new colorway than what I'm offering with my budget kits, which I think is really nice, but you still kind of get to, I guess, coordinate your weekly with your budgeting kits if you'd like. So this is kit um, number three. It's called Burgundy Fall, like I mentioned. This is the full boxes sheet, which comes with nine full boxes and three basic labels at the bottom. This is the format that I've been having, by the way. Then you have your kind of sidebar page with glitter and pattern headers, some glitter boxes, and some more basic labels right here. This is page B. Page C is your functional page. You have a ton of these individual squares to kind of check off throughout the week. You have checklists, two habit trackers, two colored flags, six pattern squared off half boxes, and three colored ones as well as you have as you guys can see some quarter um, squared off boxes and even some appointment labels at the bottom that is page C and then for the washies you're able to choose if you want the hourly or vertical version the only difference is that the vertical version the date covers are split and then the hourly is just one strip per side of the planner but everything is pretty much the same I do like to have the connecting washi there to connect with the sidebar if that is what you like um, but these are the five sheets but of course if you're picking up a kit you'll be able to choose between hourly and vertical so it is a four sheet mini kit so that is going to be burgundy fall and then the fourth one that i'll be coming out with is one that's very similar of course and it's also using some of my october budgeting kit patterns which i thought that even if i don't use this in october i could definitely use it in november so i thought that i would just come out with them as well and this is, of course, going to be called Floral Leopard, um, which we have here. We have both of my budgeting washi kits. So once again, you have the full boxes page, the sidebar glitter boxes page, glitter headers, the functional page. So these are the kind of the three main colors in this kit and the bottom washi page, which I just absolutely love. I just started budgeting for the month of October, so just seeing this and just thinking that I can lay these down in the month of November makes me that much happier because I absolutely love this um, these two prints. So this will be called Floral Leopard, so this is mini kit four. So these are both of the two new kits that will be coming to the shop and kind of going to close out with fall spreads. I think next time I come out with weekly kits, they'll definitely be more um, crisp 
Christmassy or winter kind of vibe. But I think for kids, um, especially for those of you who are kind of getting into planning, it's pretty good. So if you guys are still looking for fall kits, those are now available in the shop. As well as I made... I guess I can show you guys before I start with the daily duo kits. Um, I made sampler sheets, which I actually sneak these, I want to say, in my October cash envelope stuffing video because I am giving out actually this sheet to my patrons. So this, of course, correlates with the Floral Leopard kit. And I'm kind of going backwards now because this is kit four. But essentially what the sampler sheet is going to have is two washi strips, a full box, a ton of different boxes. I really just wanted to put all the things that I would typically use, um, especially back in the day when I would use sampler sheets to plan for a week. And so I wanted to add some checklists, some glitter headers, because I use those quite a bit in my plum paper, um, hourly planner, and a ton of just different boxes. So this is how the sampler sheets are going to look and just to give you guys a size comparison this is how the two sheets look side by side so you do get quite a bit of stickers here um, so this is going to be priced at the sampler sheet size and these are going to be priced at their own um, I do want to mention if you guys didn't already know that all of the sizings for the full boxes and quarter boxes and whatnot are the standard 1.5 um, inches wide just in case you guys were wondering so that is the sampler sheet for for Kid 4 Floral Leopard. Then I have the sampler sheet for Burgundy Fall, which this is how it looks. I absolutely love these sampler sheets. And if you guys are kind of more minimal planners, you guys are going to love these sheets. I can't wait for you guys to pick them up, get them, and start planning with them. So that is um, Burgundy Fall. And then I have the Kid 2 sampler sheet, which is Leopard Everything. Definitely my favorite of the bunch. And you guys know why. And then last but not least, of course, we have the Gingham Thanksgiving, which is kit number one. And that is how this sampler is going to look. Super in love with this um, sampler sheet. I will show you guys. I think I might have laid some of these stickers down in my Franken planner here that I made a couple of um, months ago. So I'll show you guys in a second. But those will be the sampler sheets that are also now available in the shop. And then last but not least, I wanted to reformat the main sheet in my daily duo kits, which was the washi sheet. Um, I wanted to kind of make them, instead of just decorative pieces, more functional. And so I decided to make them date covers. So let me show you guys. I guess I'll show you guys Gingham Thanksgiving first. So this is going to be the washi date cover sheet. And what you'll get in here is six of these washi strip day covers so you have monday through friday alone and then of course saturday and sunday together um you also will get some date dots to put on top of the circles there and then i also wanted to add and leave these skinny strips which i'll show you guys how i'm using it um or how i laid them down in the daily duo um daily planner just really quickly so you guys can get an idea because Prior to this, I believe we had the thicker strips, we had some dots, and then we did have these thinner strips. And I had to kind of get rid of the dots so that I could make these thick enough to be able to cover the whole date and color and all of that. Um, so that's kind of why the dots are gone. And then instead of the appointment labels that I had down here, I just decided to make some um, date dots. So that is the first sheet, the washi header sheet for the daily duo kits. And then the rest of the sheets didn't really change to be honest. This is going to be daily kit sheet B, which is the boxes that will fit. And I believe these fit in the 30, 30 minute mark. These fit in the one hour mark and these fit in the two hour mark. And I'll also show you guys how I'm using these or how I laid them down in the planner in just a second. So that is sheet. Okay, so this is sheet A. This is sheet B. And then the other add-on sheets will be sheet C, which are going to be the appointment labels, the correlate with this kit's colorway, and then sheet D, which are the basic labels. Um, so quarter and half boxes here. So these are the four sheets that I'll be offering. They didn't really change. I don't think any of these changed except for this one. This is the one that really changed. And I think with that change in mind, this is a pretty perfect daily duo kit for me specifically. But I'll show you guys later. So that is the Gingham Thanksgiving daily duo kit. And then I'm going to show you guys the other ones, which is exactly the same thing, just in different patterns. So this is the Leopard Everything Washi Headers Kit. 
really pretty. I really wanted to make sure that the washies that were next to each other matched so that everything looked cohesive. And so this is that sheet, sheet A, sheet B, sheet C, and sheet D for leopard everything. Then we have our newest weekly kit, which this one is burgundy full. Super, super pretty. I'm really in love with this and the mint in there. So sheet A, we have sheet B, sheet C, and sheet D. I love that all of these have different colors, but they're all very, very full. So if you guys lean more towards like the orangey colors, you have a kit, or if you lean more towards like the burgundy or neutral colors, there's definitely a kit for you um, in the range that I'm bringing to you guys, which makes me happy. Yeah, there's different options and then last but not least of course we have our um, washi header strips for floral leopard which so cute tell me this this is probably like the cutest kit and this is one that i'll show you guys actually on the planner so sheet a sheet b sheet c and sheet d so all in all i worked really hard to get all of these kits all done for you because these have been getting requested quite a bit both um, like having a sampler sheet as well as the daily dual kits to make a comeback and i'm so happy to be able to make a comeback alongside with all the weekly kits so all in all if you guys have weekly or daily planners i think you will be all set um, with the variety of things that i'll be offering so now I think the last thing that I'll do is show you guys how they look in the planner. I'll show you guys really quickly just like a bare bones spread using the sampler sheet. So this is using my little Franken planner that I made a couple of months ago. This is not the planner that I'm using as of now, but I just thought that it would work perfectly. Um, I did have to like tweak a couple of things so that I could add some glitter headers, but this is essentially how um, the spread will look. Very, very minimal, but I used to love these kinds of spreads, so they make me really happy. And you do still have, of course, some stickers to work with and decorate your planner with. So that is using the sampler sheet and then the Daily Duo. And then this is using the Daily Duo kit, which uh, I'm just so in love with this spread. I included some of the basic labels. I even added some of the new icons that I'm offering in the shop. You have the date dot, date cover covering everything, the little thin strips. And I, for my to-do, I usually like to break them up between like home things and like my shop. And then I'm just using other things from the other kits, as you guys can see. So very, very cute really simple but this is typically how i would want to plan a daily spread anyway so it works out okay so this is kind of like how monday and tuesday look so i kind of went all out for monday but this is kind of how um it will look for monday and tuesday wednesday and thursday friday and saturday and sunday and then i also do add um the really thin washi strip to cover the color down there that's what you would like to do so that's kind of the idea with the daily duo kits and how they would look in your spread and with that being said i think that's pretty much going to be it for this new releases video i hope this wasn't too long for you guys um of course by the time that you guys are watching this video all these kits are now up in the shop which is just rominarosa.com i will leave a direct link for it down below if you guys are interested as well as i will also be having a restock of my cash dividers and customized cash envelopes at the same time that i'm releasing these kits so if you guys want to pick both of those up some kits and some cash envelopes you guys are able to um, but just remember i just want to let you guys know that the processing time currently for stickers are five to seven days and for cash envelopes it is three weeks which actually was brought down from the usual four weeks that it was before so really happy to kind of see the processing time go down if you guys enjoyed this video please do not forget to give it a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already i hope you enjoy these new releases let me know what else you would like to see come to the shop and hopefully i will get to see you guys on the next video bye guys